Wow, what an amazing um, welcome. Thank you so much. And what an incredible school this is. I really wish that I had gone to an amazing school like this when I was younger. I'm really inspired just being here. Um, and I feel really happy to be here today to be able to share my experiences with you because I truly believe that the three most important things that parents and the wider community can give to children are first of all love, of course, and then a healthy sense of self-worth, and then also a passion for learning. And I hope this evening through my speech that I'm able to, and all the incredible speeches that you have coming as well, that we can all help to bolster your sense of self-worth and um, give you a real pride in who you are and also instill in you a respect for education. That I really, really respect and love education, which is one of the reasons why I did a film called The First Grader, which I encourage you all to see, which is all about the power of education and uh, how we all take education often for granted in this country. Whereas in a country like Kenya, it's such a privilege to be able to even have books and pens, you know, things that we all take for granted. Um, and I thought I'd start by just telling you a bit about my own background and where I came from, because I know a lot of you aren't from privileged backgrounds, and I'm not from a privileged background at all. And I wanted to really, more than anything, um, say in this speech that no matter where you start in life, it makes no difference whatsoever. You can achieve whatever you set your mind to. I know that's true because I did that. Um, as a child, I was raised by a single parent um, family um, in Finsbury Park, North London. My mum got pregnant with me when she was uh, 18 years old and she was still at school. And a lot of people said to my mum that she shouldn't continue with her education. They lost faith in her. Her own parents lost faith in her. And she was told that she should really give up her studies and uh, just raise me. But thankfully, my mum ignored all of their comments and she continued going to school. And she went on to uh, get all of her A-levels. And then, after giving birth to me, she made a promise to herself that when I was old enough to go to primary school, she would go to university. And again, people said to her, don't do that, you know, keep your job at the local post office instead of going to university. Why would you want to go to university? But my mum again stuck to her guns, she ignored them all, because she knew how important education was. So when I was five years old, both me and my mum started school together. My mum went to a university, she was the first person ever in our family to go to university, and she studied sociology at um, London University, and I went to primary school. And in the evenings, at the end of school, we'd both come home, and we'd both do our homework together. And if my mum could get a babysitter, then um, I would go to lectures with her if she had lectures later in the evening. My mum was awarded her Bachelor of Arts degree in 1980. And armed with this degree, she felt finally able to pursue her lifelong dream, which was to become a writer. And she became, in quick succession, a journalist, a playwright, a published children's author, and then she spent 10 years being a screenwriter on um, a very successful soap that I'm sure many of you know, which is called EastEnders. She also became the first black woman ever to have her own sitcom on primetime TV. It was called Us Girls, and it charted the ups and downs of a single parent mother with um, a young teenage daughter, so it was based on our lives, basically. As you can imagine, my mum's determination to achieve her full academic potential, despite all of the challenges and objections of those around her, has been a real inspiration to me. From an early age, my mum understood and passed on to me the knowledge that education is power. Because with education, you really have the opportunity to follow your dreams and create for yourself the kind of life that you really want. For me, my dream has always been to act. I never wanted to do anything else. 
but I was bullied at um, secondary school and so it really it really put me off education actually and I didn't want to go on to further education but my mom begged me to do my A-levels and she really didn't ask very much of me when I was younger I thought I'll do that for her and I'm so glad that she encouraged me to go on to do my A-levels and you know, stay in education because I went to a different school where I wasn't bullied, where I was accepted. And I had really inspirational teachers who believed in me. And suddenly I fell in love with learning again. And uh, my teacher said to me, you know, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to and we think you could go to Oxbridge. And I really thought, well, Oxbridge is really for people who are from wealthy backgrounds, not for a, you know, comprehensive educated girl from Finsbury Park like me. But they supported me and I worked really hard and I did my A-levels, I applied to Cambridge University and to my amazement, I got in. Studying at Cambridge, I have to say, was not easy. In fact, it was one of the most challenging times that I've ever had in my life so far. But it is also one of the greatest achievements and the, the achievement that I'm most proud of in my life. And I did get my degree, I graduated, and once I left university in, it was 1998, um, armed with my degree, I felt like nothing could have stopped me from achieving um, my dream, which was to become an actress. And so I, I went out and I went to drama school first of all, and then I went into the profession. And um, due to quite a lot of luck, as well as hard work and tenacity, I've been fortunate to have a really fantastic career. You know, working with actors like Jamie Foxx and Johnny Depp and Woody Harrelson and Colin Firth and many other great actors and, and working on films that I'm, I'm really, really proud of, as well as TV roles, you know, like Small Island and, you know, really um, work that really means a lot to me because it's got a great message behind it, which is very important to me. From my experiences, I can say with total conviction that whatever you want to achieve is possible. You have to work hard, you have to believe in yourself, but no matter what, with your education, with faith and determination, you can achieve whatever you want to. So I'm really proud to be able to be here today to cheer you on at this early stage in your career and to say firmly and absolutely that yes, you can. I know it's possible because I did it and I look forward to cheering you on as you go on to make your dreams a reality.